So, ladies and gentlemen, this clip takes place literally just after Lake Windermere. We got back home from there, and the sun was still up, so we decided to go for a swim in the Caravan Park swimming pool, and then go into the clubhouse before settling in before our last day. So, this vlog is the final day in the Lake District. We explore the city or town of Kendall. Um, obviously, to find Kendall Castle is the main one, but we had a little bit of footage left over from yesterday's video. So I just wanted to put it in here for you guys to see it. I was obsessed with this Deadpool claw machine because the Deadpool movie had come out. But at that time, we'd not seen it. It's kind of weird going back and forth with the audios um, and doing voiceovers from the past into the future. It's kind of weird. But yeah, I'd not yet watched Deadpool and Wolverine. So to win a little Deadpool plushie was really cool. And actually not the last Deadpool plushie of the summer. So <laughs> stay tuned for, for that. It's kind of kind of cool. It was kind of a little nod to what was going to come. But then, yeah, we got in the car the next morning and we rolled off into the village of Kendall and we went for our big last adventure day. So we actually came in through this little side bit, which was awesome. And uh, I'm going to let Tom and Helen carry from here. Welcome to Kendall, ladies and gentlemen. I'm getting Chester vibes, but like karma. Kendolians. That's my name for them, but I don't know what they're really called. <laughs> Ducks. Swan. Yeah. Nussled into the valleys of the Lake District, Kendall has its beautiful river Kent cutting its way through. It's pretty cool. The whole point of Kendall is to visit the castle and we're currently starting our journey on Queen Catherine Street heading towards the castle gardens. Over there is the River Kent and up here is the start of the journey to the castle of Kendall. Let's go. It's kind of cool isn't it? Not a bad place for a walk. It's actually very nice. Tom and Helen's Lake District adventure. To recap, as me and Helen were just recapping, we have hiked up a mountain and done one of the famous types of walks in the lakes, which is up always up something massive. So we've done that. Um, then the following day, we went and explored a very famous cave from the Witcher TV show on Netflix which is really cool, we saw two quarries and went in and out of some cool caves and then yesterday we went sailing on Lake Windermere in our very own kayak and we swam in Lake Windermere which is pretty cool and then today we've taken it a little bit easier a little bit less adventurous but we've gone for more of a relaxed day of still hiking and walking but up to see a really cool castle because we like to see cool historical landmarks we've seen a few some of the famous ones and next week we've got a cool other set of adventures to take you guys on very different from this this series but if you've liked the lake district content give it a thumbs up like share subscribe as we hike up this massive hill Ooh. absolutely gorgeous view absolutely awesome that's Kendall Castle. But we're going to maybe try and find our way into it and see if we can picnic inside of the remains of Kendall Castle. That's Helen's wrap I made for her. There's Helen. <laughs> She's eating her lunch on the top of this beautiful view. That's Kendall Castle. Which now that we've seen the front, it actually looks pretty decent. So we're going to have our picnic and then we're going to explore it. But would you just look at that view? Fantastic. What time is it now? 
map. Ooh. The Great Hall. The Great Hall. The cellars and kitchen. Cellars and kitchen. The garden robes. Indoor <clears throat> toilets which drain into the ditch. Okay. Oh. The northwest tower. Oh. Defensive. Oh yeah, sir. The well. The <laughs> castle's only water supply. Oh. And the south tower, a secondary entrance to the courtyard. Over there. Wow. This is what remains of Kendall Castle. Now, I always like to collect a rock from the places I've visited. And this one is perfect. Looks dark on one side and light on the other. Let's go into the memory box. Oh yeah. So this is the castle. Obviously, with a bit of modern day ingenuity to add the steps in. But this is cool. As you can see down there. How did you learn that, Ellie? Tell us how you found the Stalagmites and stalactites. Oh, they don't just drop then. They're dripping. Where's the drip? You need more ice cream. Are, are you out of ice cream? Oh, on a hot day like today, there's too many people bought it. Too many people bought ice cream. Wow. Look at that one there. The real life Nathan Drake. <laughs> Uncharted and stuff in it. What the hell? Oh, that's mad. Like an actual woman's person's bed. Just here and he left. No one's in it. But that's so freaky because literally that's what me and Helen said a second ago. If you were homeless, you just live in the castle. Ah, uh, the spider ate a fly. That was so weird because me and Helen literally were just crossing the field on the way over to that and we were saying about how if you were homeless I would just bring my sleeping bag and literally just keep in the castle. <laughs> Someone's literally done that. That seems insane. Huh, pond. 
But I tell you what, not a bad view to wake up to every morning, is it? Nice view of Kendall. Wow. Yep, they're locked off. Turret up there. Wow, look at that. Sick. The scope on that is insane, isn't it? Wow. Oh, great. I was trying to read the tower. I know. But some ruffians have dis disfigured it. Is that the word? Disfigure? Disfigured it. Mad over there, isn't it? Not a bad view. Hello my peasants, I decree from this day forth, you all must subscribe to the Tom Origins YouTube channel, or off with your heads! That was scary, wasn't it? There's Kendall Castle behind us, we wish it farewell as we head onwards to the next adventure. We're standing on the time capsule. <laughs> the time capsule of the shopping centre. It was sealed in 2013 and it'll be opened in 2038. And there it is. <laughs> time capsule. 25 years. Well, we'll be back. <laughs> we, we'll, we'll be back. Let's go. The last time we came on a shopping centre type video, going back a while now, was to find an infamous book at Waterstones. And now. We're going into Toyland to try and see if we can find some Lego Star Wars sets out before release day. Wish us luck. Straight away. That's a good sign. That's a good sign. That's a good sign already. Let's make our way across to the Lego Star Wars section. Marvel. Yep, yep. Brand, brand new. Yep. That's one. That's coming out next month. That's two. Jedi Bob Starfighter. That's two, baby. That's two, boys. That's two. Now is. Oh my god. Ladies and gentlemen, we did it. We actually did it. Ladies and gentlemen, we actually did it. I had no idea that we would do that. We've actually just gone and done it. The, not, the, the whole wave isn't in currently. There's a few sets that I'm still really looking forward to, like the Battle on Pandera, which is the Ahsoka one. That one's not in yet, by the looks of things. The Minecraft cube is over there. A speed champion currently is. So if that's your bread and butter, Got to get over there. The new Iron Man ones are in. Oh, the 4 plus Iron Man and Hulk. That, that one's in. That one's got that new Iron Man. Oh, it's got that brand new Iron Man. And this one as well. That's so cool. So you got one, two brand new. You got three. Three Jedi Bob Starfighter, four, five. Um, I think that one might be new, or that one might just have been out. The Batman one, uh, Minecraft one is that big cube up there, the big Minecraft cube at the top. You've got that one, and then you've got a Speed Champion, which is the Nissan, um, not the Nissan, the rally car, the like rally one. Oh, I'm gonna switch to my mobile phone so we can do a quick upload. Let's go. The wind has picked up, so my hair is a bit wet and wild, but we're going to go for tea in quite a cool establishment. It's called the Ye Old Fleece Inn. So let me show you where we're dining this evening. There it is, right next to the Old Shambles, which is a callback to York. There's the Ye Old Fleece. 
actually ended up eating in this really nice pub. It's quite well known in Kendall. We didn't know that at the time, but it was really beautiful. The staff were great. We had a trip to Kendall Castle, went to the shopping centre, and obviously walked over the River Kent, which was kind of cool. And yeah, really good last day. We found some Lego Star Wars sets early, and that's over on the Lego Channel content as well. So yeah, nice to film multiple channel videos all at once. But yeah, that's the end of the vlog series. Hope you enjoy it, and I hope you'll um, enjoy the outro. But if you like this type of content, subscribe for more, and we'll definitely do some more types like this in the future. Peace. Ladies and gentlemen, to be absolutely real with you, I have not liked my time at this caravan. I've absolutely loved it. It's been an absolute treat. It's been a home away from home. It's actually been very lovely for me and Helen especially because, more importantly, it's been like living together again, which is something that I've been deeply missing this year. So it's been lovely to come and have a, a few days here. Took in our gorgeous little woodland retreat. We've cleaned everything and tidied up everywhere. Massive thank you to Helen's mum and dad for letting us borrow such a lovely caravan and have some really cool adventures. You guys are going to see one of the coolest sets of videos ever some of the best of england vlogs i've ever made so i'm very happy about that so if you have enjoyed what you've seen and you'd like to see more of it this caravan is very accessible to us so if you are interested in any more lake district content and you like that adventure style vlogs then join us next time like comment and subscribe for more and i'll see you in a bit peace Does perfect even mean? Is there even such a thing? Ooh, ooh. Can we Let's do this right now. Tomorrow, James. And don't forget to say.